Hey. hey. Hello. We're back. Finally. I know. Jeez. Yeah. As you can see, we have Denzel back with us. <laughs> Hello. Yes, he is here. And so Denzel's back. You know, odds are we're talking something Star Wars. Mm. Star Wars stuff. No. I don't know why Gary's being weird right now, but hey. So, what do you Denzel's mean right now? He's always weird. <laughs> I didn't realize I was being weird. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was this is normal for you, Gary. There's no oh, like, no. weird. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. I haven't done this in a few weeks. I'm a little rusty. Okay. So, rusty. Thanks for joining us. As you see at the bottom, subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn on the bell. Share with your friends. Real Pastors is back. I know it's been a while. Life, got, life and jobs got busy, but here we are. So, we're Indeed. excited to be back. Excited to have Denzel to talk some Mandalorian, finally. Yeah, season Mandalorian, two. Season two is, is happening, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy it is. Yes, we are very excited. Denzel, being probably the most knowledgeable of Star Wars things, just a one word how the first two episodes are for you. What do you think? Hmm. The, one word to describe both or one word per episode? One word per episode. One more. word per episode, okay. Uh, first episode... Nostalgia, mm. because of uh, you know, the things that we'll discuss later on that appear in the first episode that bring back memories of different childhood movies and like the first couple of movies that were ever released, just nostalgia. Mm. Then for the second episode, I don't know, let me think about that. What are your first words? Um, I think for me, hey, the first one I just felt I guess the one word that always comes to mind is epic. Mm. This felt was epic. Maybe it was the hour long and everything that happened, but epic. I'll save the rest for that. Second one, uh, my thought was, huh? Like, <laughs> maybe <laughs> because I didn't, like, it just got, like, it got, like, it got, got on with the story. Discuss mm -hmm. more about that later. But it was still, those are my first two words. How about you? Okay, okay can I use two words? words? There's always got to be, be one guy. We're only doing two episodes, though. <laughs> uh, I want two words on the first episode. Uh, okay. So, okay. okay. Fine. First one, Western. All right. Oh, that's Second one word. word for the oh, okay. Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And my word for the second episode is second episode. aliens. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> aliens. Three, things. Three things I'm watching with two episodes. I would have to agree that with you, Efren. My, my, I would think my word for the second episode is confusion. It's <laughs> confusing. Just, like, yeah. huh? Yeah, huh? What happened? So, with that, we might have to go ahead and start to get into it. Um, so Do we need to announce there are spoiler alerts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If yeah. you've not seen these episodes, go Beautiful. watch those first yeah. and then come back and watch those. Spoiler Disney Plus. Log in. You some must log in if you need to, Denzel. And <laughs> watch the episode. Come back. We want you to come back. We want you to come back. And listen, week, uh, the first episode has been out for, what, two weeks? Two weeks. The other one's been, you know, not too long. Yeah. There we go. So, yes. Pause it. No excuses. And welcome back. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> did you, so, did you guys like those two episodes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know the comment. Sorry. So episode one, I uh, I, mean, I was so excited to watch it. I don't care if you haven't watched it. Did anybody see it to midnight? No. Can you watch mm -hmm. it now? Denzel, no. I just don't want to watch any other crazy. But my routine is I get up before I get a kiss and get coffee. Okay. Yeah, I have to wait till Friday night. Smart. Yeah. I've, I've done uh, Friday lunch for both episodes. Oh, all right. Good, good. So, for that first episode, I guess we'll just let Denzel start off and uh, being the guest of all. All right. So, gentlemen, go ahead, Denzel, your thoughts on the first episode. So, the first episode, I would honestly say it kind of, I mean, I enjoyed it. Like, it was an epic story, like with the, with the crate dragon and everything, is showing like their progression from uh, him trying to find fellow Mandalorians to finding uh, what he thought was a fellow Mandalorian actually turned out to be like a Western like cowboy type guy. And then them building that friendship. I love the progression of it. It was kind of confusing in the direction it was going first. Uh, I will say like, at, I guess in the middle of the episode where um, 
What was the second character's name with the Boba Fett armor? What was his name? Do you guys know, remember his name? I can't remember the, his name. The sheriff? Yeah, the sheriff. Timothy Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. Didn't they call him like the warden or something? Marshall. 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 That's what it was. Okay, so, well, Marshall. So in the middle of the episode when the Marshall is like trying to describe like how he got the Mandalorian armor or Boba Fett's armor as we're all, as we'll discuss later in the, this episode, but as he was explaining how he got that, I kind of thought it was going to go in the direction of um, like, yeah, I did these amazing things and I'm telling these stories and then it ends up him not having done any of those stories. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that type of uh, movie arc or character arc. But instead it was, he was telling the truth and he actually did fight off like a bunch of guys and he was true to his word and gave back the armor after defeating the crate dragon and things like that. And I, I really enjoyed like, the, not being able to see that aspect coming as much as I thought it was going to be the other way around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I thought, I thought it was good. Gary, how about you? Go ahead, man. So I was very excited. As you guys know, I could not wait for the show to come back on. Um, got up in the morning, my coffee, many kids' lunches, and was like, oh, heck yes, Mandalorian in season two. And what I was hoping for this season, because you guys know me. What I love the most about this is it feels like a Star Wars Western. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for Westerns. Um, and, and I was hoping it would kind of keep that while also growing. And did it ever. This was a classic Western episode. You know, Mandalorian comes into a town where they need help. The locals need his help. And I thought this episode did a really good job of reminding us who exactly he is. Mm -hmm. You know, because the show kind of gets wrapped up in Baby Yoda. You know, he takes care yeah. of him. But he's a Mandalorian. He is, you know, he's, he's a, you know, without using other words, he's, he's, he's tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it kicks off and he goes to that uh, Star Wars UFC match or whatever. And then yeah. you know, these guys around and mm -hmm. he just takes them all out. You know, I just love how it started. And I, I, I love this episode. I love Timmy the offense character, the Marshal. And when he showed up with Boba Fett's armor, I mean, mm -hmm. holy, it's oh, just a, Nostalgia and nerd moment. I was like, oh, wait. I was like, wait a minute. I ain't Boba Fett on that crash diet. You know, that ain't Boba Fett. And then um, hearing, seeing that, was just seeing that was really cool. Um, and I love that character. And then the whole, um, they needed his help to take down the Crypt Dragon. It was like a Western meets Tremors, which is one of my favorite monster movies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, take him out. I love how it took him out. It's just it's a really great episode to kick off season two. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was, Really excited. Yeah, I think one could even might even be able to say like Tremors. The first Tremors is almost a little Western, anyways. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like it yeah fit into it. Uh -huh. yeah. so. Just the whole like you know man passing through town, the locals you just help. I'll make a deal with you. And I agree with Denzel. I'm glad that the marshal didn't end up being a sleaze back. He right. Actually, being, you know he wasn't going to turn on or anything, and he, he got up with that armor. Yeah. Did you guys realize as soon as you saw at what point when you saw Boba Fett's armor did you realize it was Boba Fett's armor? Instantly. Yeah, instantly. instantly. For me it was instantly, instantly yeah. Like once I once I saw cuz it's like once I saw the armor with the color mm -hmm. with that red and like, greenish blue whatever and then of course once you saw the helmet with the mm -hmm. you know the so I was like that's right. the stuff. Mm -hmm. But then I was just like wait is this really going to be him? Mm -hmm. And then um then once the, they showed the helmet on that that ain't him. Yeah, I mean, I went to take his off. Like, nope, that ain't a Mandalorian. It was like, that is not the way. It was like the beginning of uh, the Dark Knight when all the Batman. Yeah, it's like that's not him. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not the way. That's exactly how I felt. You know? Yeah, I do like the scene when uh when the Mando walked into the bar and like saw uh the marshal sitting there, or or when they met up there at the bar and the marshal sat down and then took off his helmet. You could see the shock through Mando's helmet. Yeah. <laughs> you just see the. Wait a minute! Yeah. Yeah. You're not who you say you are. Yeah. Which, by the way, isn't that just great acting when you don't see a person's face, mm -hmm. <laughs> but through their body language and head tilts, yeah. you can be like, "I know what he's thinking." <laughs> <laughs> that is great stuff. No, so, yeah. I did. I know. For me, um, of course, getting back into it and just watching and just watching this stuff, like I got excited because um, because you know you're watching it, and then I, I remember thinking as I'm watching. Wow, Gary is loving this because I know your love for westerns. And I was like, wow, this is a hundred percent western. This is that classic like guy comes, new guy comes into town, and everyone's just like staring at him, like what's going on? 
and what mm-hmm. is this kid about? And like, just trying to figure everything out. And then, you know, when Boba Fett comes out, and of course, like you said, the the marshal, I guess, whatever comes right. out, and you're just like, oh, he's going to turn on him, what's the deal? And then they're like, oh, here it comes. And we see, you know, for me, I'm like, really? A giant sand shark? Because I don't have any right And so uh, I thought that, so I thought all that was cool, like, like what you guys said. But the other thing that I really liked was um, how they're giving a little bit more story to the Tusken mm. Raiders and how they're, how they're like showing them, like, like how they communicate. I mean, we saw a little bit of that last season, but this season you really see them working hand in hand. You see that, yes, they're savages, but they can be reasoned with. I like that we see right. they're logical, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. And so I like that we're seeing a little bit more of Star Wars lore, you know, right? You know, getting more story, getting more. Yes. Right, cause, I cause, really like that. And then I did like the, isn't that the, the song I did? You know, yeah. isn't that what that was? And it was like, yeah, so this guy ate it. It's like, you know, yeah. so that was pretty cool too. And I, I saw I, I saw somewhere on another video that the great dragon apparently in A New Hope C three PO and R two going through the desert and they see that giant skeleton. Apparently uh, that is a skeleton from those. Huh. Interesting. I heard that on another video. So more uh, Star Wars nostalgia. I know we're supposed to just like accept like all the logic that goes into the crate dragon and how he's able to like navigate the terrain and whatnot, mm-hmm. but. I still can't help but like see how unrealistic the way he just like went through the town, uh-huh. just, like didn't destroy anything, <laughs> but just went straight through the, the center road of town. And was like, oh yeah, that's that's the great dragon. He's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He that's what he does. Just just stay off the ground. And he can't <laughs> yep. Find a rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I do want to ask you guys. What was your thoughts of the opening scene where? Of the, I guess it was the second episode, where he was be he's on the speeder bike, mm-hmm. and then he he was ambushed, mm-hmm. but then like, the trick the one guy to take the jetpack and then drop the guy okay. off the jetpack. Yeah, it was great. I was actually proud because the wife was watching and she's like, she's still gonna kill him. He's still gonna kill him. And I was like, probably. I'm glad to see that she saw that coming. <laughs> and then you know, I saw the chicken with the jetpack. I'm like, yes. So, I did like how resourceful he was mm-hmm. in that. But even like in the fact that he had the perception of like how resourceful he was, not only talking to the Raiders, but like talking to the town, mm-hmm. also figuring out how to kill the, the dang dragon. Yeah. Right. And I thought that was really cool. And I, I love that. And here's one thing I loved about Mandalorian is that he's obviously the hero of this whole story, but he's not like this overpowered hero who can't be stopped. No. Right. And always, I really like that because of that this series. Yeah, same. He's still a human type uh, yeah. race and human figured species. He's got like skill. He's not like he's not superhuman. Right. Mm-hmm. He's not well, he's not Superman coming through town. Yeah, he still gets his beatings. He still has to deal with stuff, which makes it very it makes it interesting. Everything still hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I really liked about that. Uh, was there anything about the first episode? That you guys <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would say I didn't necessarily like how uh, they just introduced Boba Fett into it, mm-hmm. like him standing there at the very end and then yeah. uh, them introducing his armor. But then I don't know. I guess the the feeling of having like people from past movies who are supposedly dead coming back to life somehow and not having that not being explained. I mean, mm-hmm. they've done that in the movies all over the place, and they've done that with you know, Darth Maul. They've done that with uh, Emperor Palpatine. Uh, that kind of aspect of it, I think, kind of gets a little old after a while. I was kind of surprised that they did it again in the show. Mm-hmm. It almost felt like they didn't know what else to do, so they thought, oh, well, we'll just put this in there, and it'll be something new and something interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I think maybe part of it could have been, too, that kind of like what happens with, like kind of like what happened with Black Panther, well, they mm-hmm. didn't realize how popular that movie was going to be. So he really wasn't in like Infinity War that much mm-hmm. or engaged. So they're not just kind of like trying to retcon some of that. And I feel like maybe Boba Fett was supposed to be just be a character that no one mm-hmm. really should have cared about. He was just a bounty hunter that was hired by Ralph Vader to move on. But then since he got, you know, he got such a fan base, he's such a following, I think maybe now right. they're trying to be like, okay, let's move some stuff around because obviously he's important. People want to see him. But I'm hoping that with this series, 
Denzel going back to what you're saying, that they'll actually go back and explain yeah. it because yeah. they have. It's not like they have a two-hour movie to pick everything in. Right. They have time, so hopefully, yeah, they'll they'll explain it a little bit more and not just we got a glimpse and that's it. Yeah, that, right. that's my hope too. I'm hoping that, like, cause I think the Mandalorian this show has been really good at being its own thing with the callbacks to the original movies that we we love, you know, the original Star Wars story. Um, and I think that's what this was. But I'm hoping that we won't even see Boba Fett for a few episodes, maybe towards the end, and then maybe he'll get his own little episode where he shows up and we find out what exactly happened, how he's still alive, and stuff like that. So I, I really doubt they'll do the whole. Um, well, he's back because you know, right. That would be, I would hope that they don't do that. Well, do you think? Uh, yeah. Well, a couple of theories of like maybe we could theorize here for a second before we move on to the second episode is: Do you think? Here's my thoughts about it. I think they brought him back to be another antagonist for the man for Mando. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, in theory, right? Shouldn't he know who Yoda is and that species is? So mm. if he sees the child, what did he want to kill it? Yeah. Because the Jedi is what screwed him over. Yeah. That's true. I mean, I mean that was one kind of thing I thought of was maybe they're bringing him back to be kind of like a big bad. Mm. Because I mean, I know uh, what's his name from the last episode from last season. Um, the, the, uh, what was his name? He came out of the Star Fox. Star oh, uh, with the Star dark Fighter. dark saber, yeah. Yeah, with the dark saber. You know, I know he's a big bad. He's still looming out there. Yeah, I just but, know like, him from Breaking Bad. <laughs> What's that? I just know him from Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the, yeah. from the yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know. That was kind of that was kind of one of my thoughts. What do you guys think? Any theories and thoughts of what they might do? With it? Yeah. I think. Go ahead, Gary. <laughs> you were speaking first. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think that's. I didn't think about that. That's a really good point because he. Yeah, he, he probably doesn't feel too good about uh, that species riding along with uh, mm -hmm. Commando there. So that is going to be very, that's going to be even more interesting, you know? Yeah. What do you think, ben? I think I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and I think he's going to actually be the opposite. I think he's going to be a teammate and a friend to Mando. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think he's going to uh, kind of like feel if Boba comes back in the next couple of episodes and they explain like what happened to him, like how he was just kind of turned on by you know, the Sith or whatever and Darth Vader and all them, I feel like he might end up teaming up with Mando to just like help him along, not necessarily taking the good side or the bad side or the dark or light side of the force, but mm -hmm. he'll just be going along with Mando since Mando doesn't really have that much connection to either side of the force anyways. Mm -hmm. But do you think now there's been, some theories and such about how um, Boba Fett was never actually a Mandalorian, that he just had the armor. Or maybe he wasn't recognized by the Mandalorians because, you know, if you go back to the prequels, he's right. technically a clone, right? Right. He's technically a clone. Right. So maybe he was never really recognized. He just took his father's armor after his father died. It could be. So, I don't know. That, that's where I kind of thought maybe it'll cause a little bit of a rift because he won't really yeah. know the way. Yeah. So, so some of Boba Fett's story is explained in Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Have you guys watched any of that yet? Star Wars: The Clone no, Wars. I keep with the daughter. And I, I've, I've held back because I want to watch the series because I know she wants to watch it. Well, so my apologies. <laughs> it's been what four months, six months <laughs> since six I told months. you guys to watch it. Sorry. Anyways, Boba Fett's story is somewhat explained in that too. But he, his story there is like he is a he's a he's uh, a kid. And he works with several other bounty hunters to try and kill uh, Mace Windu and Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, he ends up. Mace Windu, that's Samuel Jackson. Yes, that is Samuel Jackson. <laughs> so he ends up like in the Star Wars: Clone Wars the animated series. He tries to like scheme against them and kill Mace Windu and Obi Wan Kenobi. And some of his story is explained there, but they leave him when he's still just a kid. They don't really explain how he got the Mandalorian armor or his dad's armor, if that's his dad's armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I thought. I mean, I could be wrong. I thought his. I thought it was his dad's armor. Mm. So I, th I thought. Didn't he wear it in episode two? I mean, I could be wrong. So it was very similar shape. It could. It could in fact be the same, same armor in terms of like the shape and like the design of it, mm -hmm. but the colors are all different. Gotcha. So maybe he maybe he got his dad's armor and like repainted it for himself. Yeah, that could be. But I mean, if you remember the prequels, uh, Jango Fett's armor is like 
gray and blue. Right. Right. Thank you for doing a callback to the Clone Wars TV show and not one of the Star Wars books. <laughs> Something you can actually like get into. Yeah, because like, I don't yeah, read. People will talk about it, tell me about the books and how. And I'm just I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. For that. You're welcome. Yeah. So um, we're sure one thing. So um, episode two of uh, of this season. Um, any? Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and continue with Denzel. What do you think? So I like I. Re- Really enjoyed how they brought back some of the humor aspect of it, kind of like what they did in the last episode of season one, mm-hmm. with like the stormtroopers beating on Baby Yoda and trying to shoot that can, and like the kind of the comic comedic aspect that's there. I like how they brought that back into the fir- into this episode with you know the ambush at the very beginning and like him uh, making a deal with the one, I guess the Jawa. Yeah. or whatever that species of guy was, where he's like, he took the jetpack, he's like, yeah, I got this, and he runs away, and then, of course, he, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> he just falls flat on his face. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Uh, I did enjoy, I really enjoyed the comedic aspect of that. And then I enjoyed the story that they were going on, or that they were starting, in terms of getting the frog lady to her uh, to her husband, mm-hmm. or to the to the world that she wants to go on. At the same time, I don't know that I necessarily enjoyed that they stopped the story right in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Like they, because I mean, up to this point, all of season one, all those, those are all stories, like one story per episode. Right. And then again, episode one of this season was one story per episode. So season, so the second episode being like just half a story, or what looks like it might even be like a third or a fourth of a story, mm-hmm. is kind of um, jarring. I didn't know. Wasn't expecting it. I don't know that I'd necessarily like that part. Mm-hmm. But overall, it was a good episode. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I think, you know, with me saying earlier, like the whole, huh? Like it was kind of that same feeling of, like it just felt like it got cut off. And which to me, I guess the weird part is, is I felt like if you just added another minute, maybe two to the show, show them limping along and making it, at least making it to the planet, then you could have had closure to that story like even though you make it, she gets there, she finds her husband, and then it's like, all right, let's talk. Roll credits. All right. Like, at least he had closure to that specific storyline, and then the next one is him searching for the Mandalorian. Right. And then whatever happened with that. So that's why it just kind of felt like. So is this going to extend two, three, four episodes? Like, is this like are you doing more of a continuity thing? Because mm-hmm. I did appreciate like what you were saying. Then how last season it was everything connected, but it was it's, it's still its own story. Right. connected to the bigger story and i and i was hoping they would continue that which the first episode did mm-hmm. and then this one just kind of felt like so we're just stopping here i mean i know we got some good tidbits like like the two um, guys in the x-wings yeah kind of give us that back to like wait so you've done this and this and you did this and so just kind of reminding that showing that the republic is out there right he's got to be careful so like i like some of that stuff i like seeing a different planet and all that but it was like Come on, you could spend another maybe two minutes finish this specific story mm-hmm. of taking this frog lady over here. Right. <laughs> and then just moving on. But um, so now it just makes me question like, what yeah. like, so, how far is this going? So with it ending like the way it ended and then not really like finishing the one story and it just ended with them like limping along in space, I could very easily see them doing like the next episode as them being entirely in space and just trying to like fight off the elements of uh, being up there in space. Mm-hmm. Like a filler episode. Yeah, like a filler episode. And that, if they do that, I mean, I'm sure they'll find ways to make it interesting. But at the same time, that could also be like, we don't know what else to do, so we're just going to do this. You know, that type of thing. I think, if they I think that, they're treading on dangerous waters. Yeah, I think if they do that, I don't think there's any way those things survive. Yeah, not the other one. Maybe Yoda. I think if they do that, going to finish those things off. They need to get to the planet, man. If they do an episode like that, it's going to be it probably be difficult because it would. How would they have much dialogue? <laughs> yeah, the frog lady speaks to a robot, and you know, and then, can't use the robot. Yeah. No, and then so it would just be Mando uh, already uh, speaks to himself okay. through Yoda. Almost there. Don't eat the eggs, you know. <laughs> and then maybe Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that was a good episode. I, I agree with you guys. It um. It just kind of went along, and then 
Uh, I love how the Jazz uh, and X Wing saved them, but then didn't. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you're going to take care of these alien spiders, but then really got here for us, you know. So we yeah. figured out. But um, the uh, frog lady got on my nerves. <laughs> Just do what you're told. Baby Yoda, baby Yoda. Is that that's the official name, right? Baby Yoda. The child. The child. child. Yeah. Kept eating the eggs, and then you know couldn't eat them eggs, so we started eating the spider alien eggs. <laughs> Um, Which, what a great call to the aliens. That, and that's exactly what I thought of. I was like, this is just like aliens. I kept waiting for Ripley to jump out. <laughs> yeah. you know, and uh, I wouldn't be opposed to a Star Wars aliens connection. <laughs> 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 I love that movie. Um, yeah, yeah, I thought, thought that was shot really well. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of felt how they were in trouble. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know how they're going to get out of this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So two, episode, but, I'll say two uh, things that kind of like confused me or took let me take a step back where one when baby yoda like put his hand up to the uh to the egg holder mm -hmm. and like all the eggs that like, came to came to right. his hand i was like oh that's gonna be cool he's like he feels their life or they sense the force in him or, and then he, <laughs> he <laughs> just, like, what the, why why would he do that child he's like <laughs> oh, God. Uh, i wonder so, if they're gonna do something where the frog lady finds out that she's missing like Six well, eggs. That was my another question. That was yeah. my next question. It's like, what kind of mother doesn't know how many eggs are in there? Yeah. If like, if she's so desperate to like keep her her species going, like, you think she'd be counting her eggs all the time? Yeah. It's like, what the heck? Why are there like seven eggs missing? Right. And I will say another thing. I'm concerned is I'm concerned with the the same thing like the first episode, but a lot more with this that she's just using it for a ride. Yeah, hmm. like I just I don't know. I have this feeling that it's not going to be any Mando, or even if he heard it, it's just going to be oh, I heard this rumor, and it's yeah. going to bounce to nothing. Yeah, and so if you go through all that, it's just kind of like which on the one side, it's kind of cool because I feel like it's kind of realistic because welcome to the real world, people are just using you yeah. for whatever they need. <laughs> uh, so I mean, it's kind of realistic, but at the same time, for story purposes, we're just going to spend two episodes for nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. so it's just kinda, oh. So, Did you guys think that the uh, what's the, the creature that went after Luke in Empire Strikes Back was going to come out of nowhere? One of those, you know, the Wampa? Creatures? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 What's it called? Wampa. The Wampa. Wampa. Yeah. Yeah. Wampa. Yeah. Wampa. yeah. That was one thing too. I was like, I hope this isn't like Hoth. I hope this is like a different ice yeah. planet. Yeah. So it was good that it, it was. And then, of course, it's always spiders. It's always, mm. it's always a spider thing. Spiders or snakes. Yes, it always snakes. is. Snakes. Why is it got to be snakes? <laughs> I know. Oh, my bad. I know. But that's how. It's, that's how it is. I'm just like, oh, come on. Like, yeah, I'm getting uh, a little bit of uh, two towers vibes too. With all the spiders. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's like two towers and aliens. Yeah. Freaky spiders. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. I know. So what? Uh, so here's a question. What grades? What grades? Let's see. I mean, but I give you six for Hell Marys. Yeah. What Hell Marys did you get? Episode one and then episode two. One through five days, in case you forgot. Okay. Yeah. And we do sort of like even numbers. I'll do like the one point. We just do. Yeah, be a man and make a decision. <laughs> make all the numbers. That's how we do things. Five stands for what? Like the greatest episode of all time? Yeah, like absolutely yeah. phenomenal masterpiece. Yeah. And then one is don't even waste your time. I got up like five times to go look for snacks. <laughs> 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 this other trash is unwatchable. Fair enough. I'll yeah. give so I'll give uh, episode one. I'll get, I'll say four, because anytime I got up to get snacks, I definitely made sure I paused it because I didn't want to miss any any moment of it. Uh, so episode one, I would give four hail marys. Episode two, I would give three, just because of the confusion that like ensued from not mm -hmm. finishing the story, not really understanding what's going on with it. Right. Yeah. But still a very good episode and much much worth the watch. Mm -hmm. How about you, Gary? What Same. You? Four or three. Four and three? Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm I, thought you, I thought you would go five, five on the first episode. Yeah, I want to go five, but five, and I mean, we were thinking, but five to me is like that episode last season that we called the Batman episode. Mm -hmm. That's like five. This one, that, this episode was great. A little bit of a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'll go four and three. Yeah. I, I just, I just thought the, the, the westernness of it would just make it like, no, this is great. I don't want to pull out too much. <laughs> <laughs> that be some point. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, so this one, so I definitely thought 
I think that first episode, I mean, I'm with you guys. I think that's a four. Um, same kind of thing, mainly because as, as amazing as that first episode was, I still think Batman, we we'll call it Batman episode. Like, yes. And so, um, like, we, uh, so I had, I had rewatched it all before it came out because Katie said, hey, I want to watch more Baby Yoda. And I'm like, first of all, it's called Mandalorian. Second of all, thank God, let's watch it. <laughs> so, so we watched it all. Yes. I know I can't get her to watch movies, but hey, she she'll watch this. So I'll take. Um, but so we watched them, and then of course I was like, "This is my favorite episode of all time, like of, of, of all these." Like, this is great. She's like, "Why?" And then she goes and she goes, "Oh, okay, great Batman stuff. He was like stuff like that." I'm like, "Yes." So I just felt like it wasn't as good as that one. Um, the second one, see, this is where. Okay, so, so this, this is, is this is terrible, terrible. and I will make a decision. I promise, gentlemen. You don't have to get mad at me, but. Like, if I just looked at it as just an episode, like, just on its own, like, I felt like I would give it to. Mm. So, pretty much, like, it's watchable, and it's good, but where it doesn't, it's hard for me when that it was like something, an episode or something like that doesn't amount to anything. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it's kind of like the whole uh, casino play thing in The Last Jedi, like, just take that, it's absolute garbage, take it out, it doesn't matter to me. It's true. But, when, when I, I go back, back and think about it, it's like, okay, this is, this is an episodic, and I know... There's, there's more. The story, story is in order. Mm-hmm. That, that's where I say, okay, I, I, I feel like I'll give it a three based on what's coming next. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's where I'm like, okay, because I, I feel like you have to watch this episode to know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So that's where that's where I'm like, all right, all right. it's a little bit of grace to jump up to that three. So I don't know, maybe that's too much information, but I just no, kind no, of no, 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 just no, like, like, okay, okay episode, episode was fine, fine but, but you know, I just and maybe the first person was two. Set the, bar the bar so, so high. high. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what what like so much down down. Right. The first episode, it was just, such, it was just a perfect attempt to bring him back. Mm-hmm. Just just into this world. And it was just, yeah. yeah. So how uh, how excited are we for the next episode, though? Looking forward to my lunch on Friday. Looking forward to my lunch. <laughs> I guess my dinner on Friday. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's good to know, because... I will not take you guys about it. I'll be watching it first. So yeah, yes. So, yeah, we'll touch base. We'll touch base Saturday. We get text. Yeah. So I have a question for you guys. With the uh, the way the first season ended, with the last thing we see is um, Gus getting out of the starfighter with the the dark saber. Mm-hmm. Do you think that he's going to come back in this season, or do you think he's going to be like a big bad in another season? I think I don't know, if I if I'm continuing with my Boba Fett theory, I think he might be saved for this another for the third mm-hmm. season. Um, I mean, like because like I said, but if if my Boba Fett theory turns out to be right, mm-hmm. I feel like they'll need to deal with that. He'll probably have to deal with that first before he comes back because he's already on the run. Mm-hmm. So it would make sense to me that it's going to take him a season to catch up to Mando. Yeah, and right. Then, and then have to deal with him again. But that's just my. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. And one thing to keep in mind is they're in the long game with the series. They're already playing out season three. Mm-hmm. And beyond that, um, they want to keep it going. Uh, so I think the reason they may hold that out and just let us, the viewers, keep in mind that he's there. Remember season one? Um, you know, I think they may push it back to that. Or maybe we get a nod to it in the finale of this season. Mm-hmm. You, know? mm-hmm. but, um, you don't want to do everything this season. Yeah. Right. That, that would, I think that would shoot him in the foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? I think it's hard, it's hard to say, really. I mean, having that dark saber and like the, uh, the callback to the Clone Wars that he has with it, it could be like, I feel like they would have to bring in some other characters, mm-hmm. some other people that we know that might be able to uh, uh, fight him mm-hmm. or be able to stand up to him alongside of Mando. Right. I feel like Mando might be kind of weak going to Gizm by himself. So I feel like if they were to bring back Gus in this in this uh, this season, they would have to introduce a couple other characters first, mm-hmm. or bring back a couple other strong characters. And maybe um, I don't. Like, we don't even know if there's going to be like any other Jedi, or if Jedi are just not at all involved with this this the series. Mm-hmm. But it'd be interesting to see like have like some sort of lightsaber fight at some point. Yeah. In the in the series, what 
does it, has anyone seen how far after Return of the Jedi this is? Like, is it pretty recent after Return of the Jedi, or is it like? I feel like I saw or read that it's five years. I think I think so. Five it's years. pretty recent because in Episode Two they start talking about. I mean, when the uh, the mining colony goes under or gets taken over by the um, by the the Union, I guess that was just a couple of years prior because that's when the Death Star 2 was blown up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they mentioned that in episode two there. Right, and they do, and that's what, I guess that's why I was confused because everyone's acting like they've never heard of the Force or right. there's this legend of Jedi, mm -hmm. which is like, but a, if it was recent, it was a Jedi that destroyed the Death Star. Like, right. So that's why I was kind of confused. Like, is it recent or is it further along where people by this time would have forgotten what Luke has done? And so, I mean, because it, yeah. it makes sense that it would be Jedi legend because you didn't really see the Jedi since episode three. And so they kind of died down. But you would think you would hear about, you know, Darth Vader and you would hear about Luke or at least a Jedi that came up. Yeah. And if it was more recent, it wouldn't, I don't know. I just think that it wouldn't be so like disconnected, yeah. I guess, as far as yeah. at this point, you know, I feel like we'd also be hearing more about like the first order. And that yeah. building up because it wasn't too long after, you no, know, it was what twenty years maybe, between thirty was it thirty years? So if this was like five years to ten years after the Last Jedi or the Return of the Jedi, then we would slowly start to hear small bits about the First Order. I would think. Yeah, maybe as the seasons go on, maybe mm -hmm. they'll start hinting to that. Mm -hmm. um, I think if we had to guesstimate, I would say this was between five to ten years after yeah. the D Death Star two blew up. Yeah, which which I guess that would make sense with kind of forgetting about what happened. I mean, how many times do heroes do great things and people forget? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I mean, heck, I have something that's watched by millions called the Super Bowl. Can you name the Super Bowl championship? I mean, you can probably say Patriots and Mike, but. <laughs> Do you know for sure? I feel like there's a lot of things in recent history that we're trying to forget old history and then we're not learning anything. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Exactly. Won the World Series two years ago. That doesn't surprise me. Who won WrestleMania two years ago? Uh, Kobe Kingston. <laughs> yes. Gary had the superpower. Gary had the superpower. I'm going to show you guys the other day. That's going to be, that needs to be its own year. episode. Just the a challenge. Years, we'll tell you everything about WrestleMania that year. It's actually quite impressive. I don't think I'm not going to anything like that. It's sad. It's impressive. So I've showed Gary. Oh, man. I did want to bring one thing up. I did want to bring one thing up before we wrap up here. There's not a report coming in that viewership in the world is starting to change. Why do you think? I mean, there's this whole thing about political tweets that we don't have to get into because we don't want to do with politics. No. But, and some people are saying that's the reason. Some people are saying the story just isn't grabbing people this season, yeah. the first two episodes. I don't know. So, so it's just apparently if, viewership is going down. What if do you it, guys think is going on, and how would you fix it? If it is truly tanking, I would almost uh, put that blame on the fact that they actually showed Mando's face in the mm -hmm. very end of the first season. As I mean, the whole first season was the story how he never took his helmet off. He never showed his face. Like uh, that was the way, that was the way of the Mandalorian. He never showed his face. I feel like they should have continued that on throughout the series and then left that as like a series finale. Like they finally showed his face then, mm -hmm. but they really, they ended the first season with it. So we all know what he looks like. We all know the, mystery's gone. the mystery and the, the enchantment of like him not taking his helmet off. That is, no, that's gone. That's dwindled. Mm -hmm. And then I would also, I would say that it would, ha would have to do with like the story not really grabbing people, because like our issues with episode two are, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a filler episode. And I, I have a feeling that if we go on two more episodes, we get to the end of like the story, you are probably not even watch the like episode, episode two, and you'd be completely fine in knowing what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Gary? I really don't know. It's kind of baffling to me, to be honest with you, because there's not a whole lot of other things to watch right now. Um, hmm. And that's fair. As, as Disney Plus, I mean, their subscriptions are still pretty good. I'm sure, right? Yeah, I mean, subscriptions are going people up. Are, 
people are on it. And um, I don't know, maybe Star Wars will come out. Maybe people are just, you know, tired of Star Wars and they're like us, wanting to see more of this world. I don't know. Um, election coverage, people watching that instead. Mm -hmm. But it, it's baffling to me because there's not a whole lot of new stuff out right now. Um, so uh, I don't know what else there is to watch. It's coming out at a good time, you know, Fridays and mm -hmm. right there for weekends. So I don't know. I'll be interested to see it as it goes along, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might just be usually when you see stuff like that, especially the drop off from episode one to two, I think it has to do a lot with like what Dan was saying too. I think it's just the story of it. And so I think even though the first episode was great, I just wonder if the first episode didn't deliver enough of a direction for the whole season that people were just kind of like, oh, so we're just going to kind of see him yeah. lost in space ish and just hopping around looking for right. Mandalorians. Because it's like we already know the big picture is he's trying to get the child back to his people, yeah. if they even exist still. Yeah. And so maybe people are just kind of like, oh, this could take forever. I'll watch it whenever. Like, I don't have to watch it now. Right. Or, like, or like last year, it was like each episode, it was, oh, we have to watch it now. Yeah. And, but now yeah. people are kind of like, eh, maybe I can catch up. Maybe they're getting the, they're feeling like Netflix. Oh, I'll yeah. just wait and then I'll binge watch it all. That could be. That could also be true. I mean, that's, that's what I did with the first season. I waited to the very end and then I watched them all at one time. I watched them in like three days. Maybe a small part of it could be, and, and this just came to mind. Um, even though they're not connected, but you know, uh, Rise of Skywalker. How many people like that? And Mando came out right mm. before that. Yeah. It came yeah. Out before it. Could that? Because people just not be. There could be a group of people that are just so frustrated with Disney's direction of Star Wars mm -hmm. they don't watch any of it right now. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's a big reason that I could be part of it. I'm not. I love it. But. I would agree and say that that could be part of it. But I would also say that, like, I've heard a lot of people say, it's like, oh, well, you know, the movies have tanked, but we still have The Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. At least The Mandalorian. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard bir birth. I've heard both ways. Right. Um, I look at it as in, like, I still have The Mandalorian, even though, like, the the last three movies weren't the greatest, but mm -hmm. we still have the Mandalorian. Yeah. I and just then, wonder if some of it may just be, cause kind of how they, they reported at first that Mulan was doing awesome. Yeah. And then when they went back and looked, they're like, Oh, it didn't do that. Awesome. First. Yeah. I wonder if some of it is just, maybe they're just having a hard time truly tracking how many people are. Viewing. Right. Um, I wonder if that's like, you know, I guess more technical. I wonder if that's probably part of the issue is maybe they're not seeing exactly how it's working. Maybe, right. maybe it's a mixture. Maybe they're having a hard time getting those metrics. Maybe some people are just going to wait to get the season. Maybe some people are like, okay, so this is a story. I'll, I'll see it when I can. I mean, I think it might be a mixture of stuff. If it truly is tanking as bad as they say it is. Um, I just hope it doesn't. Uh, we lost Denzel. Goodbye, Denzel. But, yeah, uh, yeah, he had a good run indeed. But I'm just hoping that it doesn't make any dis future decisions like where well, they'll be like, oh, I'm out of here or something. You know, he's yeah. back. There he is. Well, be. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm kind of hoping is that maybe it's much to do about nothing. And it's just people just kind of like, oh, man, whatever. I think and, it could be, though, like you said, I think it could be uh, very hard for them to track their analytics and get the good metadata down. Mm -hmm. Just because, I mean, when they release a new movie, I mean, before COVID, you were, you looked at ticket sales. Mm -hmm. When people went to go watch a movie, they would sit there through the whole movie. Right. Whereas now, when they're releasing things on streaming, half the time it's like you start it, oh, it's time to go out. I got to go do this, and then you walk away and you come yeah. back and you watch it a little bit more. And you like it takes longer to get through episodes sometimes if you're if you're a busy person. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Especially with the way life has changed, so much people working from home, yep. and stuff like that. Maybe they don't have the time. I mean, like this last December, there's still no COVID here in the States, at least. Like, you know, we weren't locked down or anything. And then so people had to make a point to watch it. Right. They sit down and watch the whole thing because if not, then they're not watching it. Yeah. So, yeah, that could have been part of it, too. So I just hope Disney doesn't look at this and say, maybe we need to pull back from No, you don't. Hear me, Disney. You do not. Please continue. Who's that? Going into, here's a question for you guys. Going into the rest of the season, what is one thing that you would love to see in the season? Hmm. Boba Fett's story. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, 
still walking around and all that. Mm -hmm. um, man, I'm not sure. I guess I'm not sure because I'm, I'm liking so much the expanded universe stuff. Yeah. I'm okay with not getting. I mean, I, like, I feel like Boba Fett will be in it, but I don't feel like it was such a huge part of the originals that it was like if he comes in, I'm fine. Because like, I don't know. I, mean, I just kind of like what they're doing, like showing mm -hmm. us, showing us. I guess maybe him finding, which I hope he does, but just him really coming back with other Mandalorians and maybe finding that and. Cool. I, I think it'd be cool, even if it's like a season ending thing, like you see him find all the Mandalorians and they start to like rebuild kind of thing. Mm. They rebuild their people and then we really start to dive into their history and what they're about and stuff. I think I, I personally would like that. Mandalorian war. Yes. I, I think I would like to see, uh, you know, like you said, this probably be something close to the end, but maybe like he, like he finds like a group of Mandalorians. Maybe it's not a massive group. Or maybe he finds like one or two others and they start traveling with him. They're like a team. Mm -hmm. We start finding out more about their stories as well. Kind mm -hmm. of like a, like a squad, I guess, of like in the clone right. army that you might find. So I wouldn't, I really wouldn't mind seeing them like find a squad and then like him and like two other or three other Mandalorians just go around trying to deliver baby Yoda to wherever he's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. and then I also would really like to see like a big battle between like Mandalorians and like whatever this big bad is. Uh, I feel like that'd be kind of cool to watch. I mean, we saw a glimpse of that in season one at one point, too. Yeah. I'd like to see maybe towards the end or maybe in the middle somewhere we find out that Rise of Skywalker was just baby, one of Baby Yoda's nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, well, we all know how Gary feels, man. Yeah. yeah. But I think what you're saying, too, I think it might be cool. Maybe the same I believe that theory is true. And maybe he has a big back and maybe that season ends, they earn respect and he becomes like part of his posse. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. cool. Something like that too. Just to kind of see that it's more like us main lords got to stick together. Because they had a posse in like season one. Like mm -hmm. the last three episodes, like he had his his group of people that he worked with. You're right. Um, but then they all dispersed at the at the very last episode. Which honestly made sense though. Right. It, it made sense, it did. but I would like to see another posse. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. And then maybe a, couple, a season or two down the road, whenever all the posses come back together yeah. to defeat Gus. Los pollos hermanos. So. Not be trusted. <laughs> all right. Well, cool. That's our thoughts on Mandalorian seasons one and two. We will continue for the thoughts as episodes come out. And Gary and I are trying to do a better job of being more consistent. <laughs> so taking two weeks off. Sorry. Are we going to do? <laughs> are we going to do like episodes three and four together, or are we going to do separate episodes, separate things for each episode from here on? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do I guess we can. Two episodes per. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe two. Yeah, maybe two episodes per, and that way we can have Denzel on here with us too to continue sure. talking. Yeah. And uh, maybe so. Maybe in two weeks, I might have watched some of Clone Wars, so Denzel doesn't have to call me out online. I'll try watching too. <laughs> I make no promises. <laughs> still can't Just gotta Twitter. watch season oh, seven, oh, bros. Still missing. Oh gosh, poor Gary. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, well, very good. Friday. This was fun. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah. Thanks, Denzel, for being here. Make sure to follow Denzel on his videos and such, and. Uh, we're, like we said, we're sometimes on there making stupid things with Denzel. Make sure to follow him, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. See you.